In this video, let's take a look at a series circuit. A series circuit is a circuit in which there's only one path for current to flow. Uh, we have a basically simple circuit here, a series circuit. We can visualize from the power source back down to the ground, there's only one path for power to flow. This is a simple, simple bulb. We could also add a second bulb into this and put these two bulbs in series with each other. So we could come into this bulb, uh, go through the bulb, come out of the bulb, and right back through another bulb. So you'll see the current's gonna go through this bulb and through that bulb and then back to ground. This is called a series circuit because there's only one path. Actually, every component in the circuit is series to each other. This fuse is in series these bulbs, so it means all the current through each bulb is going through here. And we have a series circuit that's go live here. Anywhere along the line that I haven't opened, the circuit goes dead. That's because there's only one path. And so that's a rule of a series circuit, is that anywhere along the line that I haven't opened, it's going to kill the whole circuit. Now, another rule of a series circuit is that, and it's based on Kirchhoff's law, is that the voltage applied across the circuit, this whole what's called source voltage, will be dropped across all the components. And voltage drop out here on the circuit is a result of current flowing through resistance that produces voltage. You could actually calculate it just like Ohm's law, E is equal to I times R, or voltage is equal to current times resistance. And let's actually take a look. Uh, Kirchhoff's law says that all the voltage drops will add back up to the, to the source, and it's going to be proportional. Now, basically the only two loads we got on the circuit are two marker lights. We do have a switch and a fuse holder, which would probably drop a little bit of voltage, but I think it's going to be insignificant in this case. Let's take a peek here. In uh, this case, we want to use our meter. It's a voltmeter for right now. So I want to look at the voltage drop across this one bulb. In this case, I go to COM port. Now all these wire colors don't matter, uh, so that don't get uh, don't worry about that. We we'll use COM port and in our volt port, DC volts. And so the way this would work, the the, the perfect way to do this would be to to, to realize or to recognize the current. Our conventional current theory is that current flows positive and negative. So as current's flowing through this bulb, the lower potential is going to be downstream of the bulb. It's kind of like water flowing through a hose. If you partially block the hose, flow slows down a high pressure above the kink, low pressure below the kink. Same thing here. Think of current flowing through here. There'd be a higher voltage potential here than here. So if I put my red lead or the lead off of the positive on that side of the bulb, and then go on the ground side or the downside with my COM port, I'll get a positive number here. There won't be a negative sign here. If you got these two wires reversed, you see a little negative sign. It would have the same number and would not uh, cause a problem as long as you're aware of that. Now we look up here, 7.07, so it's round off to say 7 volts. There's big V, no multiplier, so that is in fact 7 volts. Now, we're also going to be dropping voltage over on this bulb. So let's move over there. We'll just move a meter over here. And we'll go upstream and downstream. And we find 6.75 roughly, or 6 and 3 quarters. Now these two marker lights look identical, but in reality they're made on production line in the filament resistance will vary. And that's what you're seeing is the reason it's not exactly the same number, which would be half of the source voltage, is because of the variance in the resistance of the filament. But the bulk of your voltage that's applied to the circuit is being split across here. If you swing up here to get source, see if you can pull that off. Go from here all the way to here, and we've got 13.8. And so the idea is the source voltage, the voltage applied across a circuit will be dropped across all the loads. In this case, two loads. Where this happens though sometimes, you may have say a bad fuse holder, you could drop, say if it dropped a volt here, you would kind of rob that and what's left down here would be split. 
So uh, voltage drop, we talked about a lot in these videos, is a very important diagnostic tool, very, very powerful way to find resistance. So in a series circuit, we can add up all the voltage drop equals source voltage. The current's the same everywhere. Let's take a quick look at that. So I'm going to come out of here, and we're going to change over this little more room over here, it looks like. And let's change over look at current. So we'll swing over here to the amp port, the com port. If you're using a Fluke 87, you may hear this on the video, it's chirping. It's chirping because it needs you to be plugged into the amp port, but you don't have the amp port selected here. So just go move over to amp here, and the chirping stops. Now, a, a rule of a series circuit is the current's always the same everywhere in the circuit. And we could prove that by we could just come here and we could come out of the very top into our ammeter. And remember, we now have a series, series relationship. And so the current comes into the meter, back out of the meter, and into the project. And I'm showing. 177, small m, 177 milliamps. Now this is pretty low current because we have two marker lights and the two marker lights are also wired in series which drops the current to half of what it would normally be. That's one reason the lights are so dim right now is that they're running half voltage or half current also. So we notice 177 uh, milliamps, basically point 177 amps. We could come back, uh, and come over here there's a 177 and 176 to come way down here to the bottom coming out of the bottom of the project on the way to ground and we get the same number this proves that in a series circuit the current is the same all through the circuit so if you're doing a, a drills here for, for the school and you're told to check the current in a, prime, in a series circuit, it doesn't matter where you put the ammeter, but anywhere you want to because the, the current's the same. That's a wrap for series circuit.